Well, welcome back. Time now for our National Roundup and our reporters join us from around the country. We've got a new reporter there too. As you can see, there is a new face That's Matt. in the lineup. Matt in Wellington. We'll be going to him shortly. That's him on the right, obviously, because you all know Jack on the left there, and that's clearly not Matt in the middle. Anyway, we're going to go to Jack first they claim the, that it was across a technical, their screen. They claim it was a technical error, don't they? But, I mean, you know, if you're going to watch alt TV, you're going to expect something a bit rude, aren't you? That's <laughs> yeah, the whole point of it. Right. It's rude TV, mm. not like breakfast here with Pippa. Very civilised. Wholesome is wholesome. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Now a little bit more for you on uh, texting and we have of course our new face in the Wellington newsroom, Matt McLean. Good morning, welcome to the family Matt. Oh thank you, it's good to be here guys. Hey well first of all uh, a real estate agent up on the Kapiti Coast was trying to sell a few of her houses up that way and as you do she tried to organise a few open homes to show people around. Now she did a bit of a leaflet drop, she dropped off some pamphlets with you know photos and information of the houses and at the bottom she also included her phone number and a photo of herself. Now one young keen man up that way obviously took a bit of a fancy to the real estate agent because um, within 48 hours of sending out the leaflets this real estate agent sent, uh, received about 10 sexually explicit texts uh, suggesting things that the texter and the real estate agent could do inside the open homes. Now this is obviously quite distressing for the real estate agent and she went to the police and unfortunately for the young man his wishes didn't quite come true. Uh, the police have charged and arrested a 17 year old with uh, misuse of a telephone. So hopefully what the real estate again? agent... What did he do again? He received the leaflets, obviously... Well he got her number, he saw her he photo, got her number, he thought she's he a bit saw her okay. photo and yeah. th thought she's a bit of alright. Yeah. So he sent her a few texts, and um, but it wasn't quite what the real estate agent was hoping for when she was trying to sell the houses. No. So hopefully now she can just get on with it and sell the houses that she was that she was hoping. What to was do. he charged with? Misuse, Misuse of, a, of telephone. a telephone. Yeah. So well, hopefully that'll be a lesson. For that is. Mm. I'm not sure actually. Because I mean it's not. I mean he's 17. She's out there sending out her furtive material oh, through the mail with her contact details. Well, no, seriously. No. When you think about it, she's in this day and age, for it, Paul. She's, she's asking for it. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you said that, and not me. Matt, you're so new, and yet, yeah, already well, Paul Henry is rubbing <laughs> up on you. So new, and yet at the end of his career. <laughs> but no, I, I mean in a sense. Let's be fair, I'm going to bail you out of this one because I've, I, you know, obviously they're going to be less reluctant to get rid of me than you. Um, you're right, in a sense, she is asking for it. In a sense, you know. No, 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 not quite, in any sense. It would sense be quite a distressing thing, though, really, wouldn't it? In the sense of some horny little 17 year old's mind, is she asking yeah, for it? I'm yeah. sorry. But they're out there, we all know they're out there. Oh, you, yeah. you know, you're 17 years. But no, honestly, if like me, you get as many bloody leaflets from real estate agents through your mail, if this puts one of them off, well, that can't be a bad thing, no. can it? No, no. I mean, I'm not encouraging wrong. people to go out and do it, obviously. Obviously, it's our Wellington reporter that's doing that. But. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, all right, thank you very much. It's been a great career. Very short, but... <laughs> oh, there, but there's, there's more as well, guys, actually. Oh, really? Yes, there's just Carry a little on, bit Matt. more. Carry on, Matt. Come on, come on, get to it. Thank you. Hey, well, obviously, as most people will now know, David Beckham, uh, yes, Bex, is coming to Wellington this week. And uh, it's a very exciting thing for the capital and also ex an exciting thing for the Yellow Fever. Now, the Yellow Fever are the uh, staunch supporters of the Wellington Phoenix. And uh, I went to my first Phoenix game a couple of weeks ago, actually, and was just blown away by how, um, how supportive and emotional these guys get over the game. So um, to welcome David Beckham to Wellington, they've come up with a few new chants to add to their songbook. So I, I Are you going to no, do one for us? Well, I in no way am a, a Wellington a Yellow Fever uh, staunch fan, no, but I'm going to try and give a couple of them a go. All right, here we go. Oh, so one of the, 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 the first one might be a, a little bit familiar to, to New Zealanders at least, and it goes a little something like this. Um, <coughs> Victoria, what do you want from him? Want from him? Victoria, what do you see in him? See in him? <laughs> so that's, that's, you are worth your weight in gold. <laughs> no, so you're pretty good on one. you, Matt. And there's a couple of others. One of them goes <laughs> on to, talk of, uh, to the tune of 
to the tune of Skip to Malou, and it goes on to talk about Rebecca Luz, who David Ooh. Beckham obviously infamously had an, an alleged affair with in 2004. So I'm sure the Yellow Fever will give David Beckham a warm welcome to Wellington on any, any account. Actually, I'm going to whip out for a coffee. Do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you brilliant. should become Fantastic. an honorary member of the Yellow Fever after that rendition. Yeah. No. Well done. Thank you, Matt. That was brilliant. What mm -hmm. was his name again? Matt McCain. Matt. No, good for you, Matt. That's fantastic. We'll um, probably not see you on air again, but, <laughs> but still, it was well worth the effort. Um, Australian pop princess Kylie Minogue.